All right, let's get going. This is um, week number eight, pre-college math. Um, next week is spring break. So next week there is no new material. Next week is a, a week for students to get caught up if they're behind, but you are off because of spring break. Yay. Now this week is fairly easy. This week what we're doing is we're solving systems of equations um, and we're using a couple different methods. Uh, so probably something that you've probably learned in algebra one. We do get hard after spring break gets over, we do get into some harder solving system problems um, when there's three variables and stuff like that. But today we're just dealing with two variables. So it should be a fairly easy week this week. A system of linear equations is a set of two or more linear equations containing two or more variables. A solution of a system of linear equations with two variables is an ordered pair. So all of your answers this week should be ordered pairs, like an X and a Y value. So in order to, to solve a system of equations this week, what we're gonna be doing is we're gonna be using what is called the substitution method. Now the substitution method says that what you do is you take what one of the variables is equal to and plug it into the other equation. So for example, in this first example here, we know that Y is equal to two X minus three. So since we know what Y is equal to, in the other equation, we plug that in. It's called substitution. We're substituting in it. So I would rewrite the first equation as 4x equals, and then 2 times, and then I'm going to, wherever I see y, I'm going to put 2x minus 3, 2x minus 3, and then, oops, plus 6. So all I did is I plugged this in for the y, and now it's just a, an equation with one variable that I need to solve. So I'm going to multiply through here using the substitute or using distributive property. So 4x equals 2 times 2x. That gives me 4x minus 6 plus 6. I'm going to subtract 4x from both sides. And lo and behold, the variables cross off. So I end up with 0 on this side and negative 6 plus 6 is 0. So that means whenever you solve a system in both of the or the or the variables cross off, that means you either have uh, no solution or an infinite number of solutions. It all depends on what your solution looks like. So this is a true statement. Zero does equal zero. So that means all real numbers will work here. So all solutions. Now, if it turned out to be something like zero is equal to 10, well, that's a false, that, that's a false statement. So if that ever happens, then you have no solutions to the problem. Okay, so let's try, let's try another one. Now, another way to solve the system of equations is to graph the problem out. And wherever the graph crosses, the, wherever the two lines cross, that is, a, that is a solution to the system. So in this problem, I've already graphed it out. So then all I have to do is look for where it crosses. And it looks like it crosses here at negative one, one, two, three, negative one, three. Oh, let's say maybe it's, oh, it's only two. Negative one, two is where it crosses. So that would be my solution. So there's, there's really three different ways of solving a system of equations. Graphing, substitution, and the elimination method. But we're not dealing with the elimination method this week. Okay, so on the practice this week, it's just solving systems. So in this problem, it says, when using substitution to solve this system, of equations, what is the result of the first step? Well, remember, the first step is plugging in what you know one of the variables is equal to. Well, I in this problem, I know x is equal to, uh, what is that, uh, 6y plus 3. So I'm going to plug that in. So I'm trying to change the color here. So I know that x is equals 6y plus 3. So I'm going to plug that in wherever I see x in the second equation. So this is going to be 6y plus 3 plus 2y is equal to five. So that's the first step. Now it doesn't ask me, oops, I needed to, oh yeah, I don't have to put a parenthesis in if I don't want to. So it didn't ask me to do anything else. It just asked me after the first step. So my answer would be six Y plus three plus two Y is equal to five. So my answer should be letter C for this one. All right, number two. Number two, it asks us to solve this problem, the system of equations. And in this problem, I know y is equal to, 
x plus 3. So wherever I see y, I'm going to plug x plus 3. So this is going to end up being 2x plus, well, in place of y, I'm going to put x plus 3 is equal to negative 6. Now I'm going to solve this problem. So 2x plus x, that gives me 3x plus 3 is equal to negative 6. I'm going to subtract 3 from both sides. I end up with 3x equals negative 9. Divide through by 3, and I end up with x equals negative 3. Now, I'm not done yet. Because remember, a system of equations, the answer is an ordered pair. So negative 3 is my x value. To find my y value, all I have to do is go up to one of the original equations. Now, the original equation was y is equal to x plus 3, so I'm going to put negative 3 in there. So negative 3 plus 3 is 0, so my answer should be negative 3, 0. All right. All right, Brian, any questions so far on using substitution to solve? All right, problem number three, it says to solve. Now this time, the first step, both of the equations are equal to y, so it, you can take either one. So I know that y is equal to 4x minus 1. So in the second equation, I'm just going to plug that in there. So I'm going to rewrite it as 4x minus 1 is equal to 3x plus 6. Uh, and this one, I'm going to subtract 3x from both sides. So I'm left with x minus 1 is equal to 6. I'm going to add 1 to both sides. So x is equal to 7. Now, in order to find my y value, I'm going to plug that back in. So my one of my first equations was y is equal to 4x minus 1. If I put 7 in there, um, I end up with 28 minus 1, which is 27. So y is equal to 27. So my answer should be 7, 27. So letter B. All right, number four. It's not what I wanted to do. I wanted to go this way. <laughs> All right, number four. Same thing, solve by substitution. And substitution is probably the number one way of solving um, systems of equations. That's why we, we do a lot of it. All right, so in this problem, I know y is equal to 2x. So I'm going to rewrite this as 2x equals 4x plus 12. I'm going to subtract 2x from both sides. So 0 is equal to 2x plus 12. I'm going to subtract the 12 from both sides. So 2x equals negative 12. x equals negative 6. Okay, now I could stop in this one because c is the only one that has negative 6 for an answer, but I'll just plug it back in here. So if I put negative 6 back in here, 2 times negative 6 is negative 12. So negative 6, negative 12 should be my answer. And all of your answers should look like this tonight or this week. They should be ordered pairs. And that's how you should write your answers. All right, next problem. Now in this problem, you don't have one of the variables equals to anything. You don't have x equals something or y is equal to something. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm just going to take this first equation. I've got x plus y is equal to negative 1. And I'm going to subtract y from both sides. And why am I doing that? Well, because now I end up with, so now I have x equals. So I can use substitution. So I know x equals negative y minus 1. So I'm going to substitute that back in where I see x. So it's going to give me negative y minus 1 minus y is equal to negative 7. Negative y minus y is negative 2y minus 1 equals negative 7. I'm going to add one both sides. Negative 2y equals negative 6. So y is equal to 3. So this time, I solve for the y value. So now I know the y value is 3. So in order to find the x value, I just plug it back in here. So if I put 3 in here, um, so that's negative 3 minus 1. That's negative 4. So negative, uh, I'm sorry, uh, negative 4 comma 3 should be my answer. Got to make sure I write them in the right order. X always goes first. Okay. So using substitution, sometimes you have to rewrite it so it's X equals or Y is equal to, so you can use the substitution. In this problem, they already have Y is equal to, so I don't have to do that first step. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm just going to take Y is equal to X plus 1, and I'm going to plug it in for Y here. So this is going to be X plus 
x plus 1 equals 7. So 2x plus 1 equals 7. 2x equals, I'm going to subtract 1 from both sides. That gives me 6. So x equals 3. So now I know what my x value is. To get my y value, I just plug the 3 back in here. So 3 plus 1 is 4. So 3 comma 4 should be my answer. All right. So as I said, uh, you know, spring break is next week. I didn't want to make this week very difficult. So just solving systems should remember this back from like algebra one should have solved systems of equations. The next one, it says Edith is using substitution to solve the system of equations below. What should the first step be? Well, if I'm looking at this one, the first step I would do um, in this problem using substitution is I'd substitute the three X where the Y is. So I'm going to put it right there. So this would end up being negative 2x plus 8 times 3x equals negative 2. So what does that give me? Uh, letter A for my answer. All right. Brian, I, I, I know I'm going through these rather quickly. Any questions on any of that? Okay. The next one, it says, um, what is the or what is the solution to the system? But a fairly easy problem because the the system is already graphed. Now, if it wasn't graphed, we'd have to graph it first, and then where the lines cross, that is my solution to the system of equations. So, my solution should be right here. So, what is that? Two, four, for my solution. So. If you're solving a system of equations by graphing, you just graph it out where the two uh, lines cross. That is the solution to the system. So in this problem, it would be 2, 4 or letter D. In this problem, again, I don't have one of the equations written as y is equal to or x equals 2. So I'm just going to take the second equation. I have x equal or x minus 2y. So I have x minus 2y equals 11. I'm going to add 2y to both sides. So I end up with x equals 2y plus 11. Now, the reason I did that, so now I have what x equals. So what x equals? x equals 2y plus 11. So in the other equation, I'm going to plug that in right there where the x is. I'm going to put 2y plus 11. So this is going to be 3. 2y plus 11 plus 2y is equal to negative 1. So all I did. Now, once you do the substitution, the rest of it just turns out to be algebra. So I did the, the, the substitution. Now the rest of it is just algebra. I'm going to multiply through by 3 here. So that gives me 6y plus 33 plus 2y is equal to negative 1. Uh, 6y and 2y, that gives me 8y plus 33 equal to negative 1. I'm going to subtract 33 from both sides. So 8y is equal to negative 34. And I divide through by 8. Oy, that gives me uh, y is equal to negative 34 over 8, which I'm going to reduce. Uh, so if I take a, a 2 out of the top, does that give me 17 force? So I'm going to stop now because this is the only problem that has seven negative 17 fours and i don't have to uh, plug that back in <laughs> who wants to plug negative 17 fours back in um, that would be a little crazy all right and then the last problem for this week on the practice is this one it says uh, 4x is equal to 2y plus 6 and y is equal to 2x minus 3. so i know what y is equal to so i'm going to use that i'm going to plug that 2x minus 3, wherever I see y in the second equation. So I'm going to plug it right there. So I've got 4x is equal to 2 times 2x minus 3 plus 6. I'm going to multiply through here. So that gives me 4x minus 6 plus 6 equals 4x. Oh, I think we did this one already. Uh, the negative 6 and the 6 cross out. So now I'm left with 4x equals 4x. So if I subtract 4x from both sides, I end up with 0 equals 0. This is a true statement. 0 does equal 0. So if it's a true statement, that means I have an infinite number of solutions to the problem. 
And that is all we're doing this week. This week is a fairly easy week just using substitution. And the reason we made it pretty easy this week is because next week is spring break and we don't want you guys sweating over the work. Any questions, Brian? Because that is all I have for you today. Um, have a great spring break. Hopefully the weather warms up. I know this week on Wednesday, it's supposed to be up to 62 degrees, which is amazing. All right, you have a good one. <laughs> Bye.